Hey everybody, it's Robert Watson here coming at you with a zero package mail day because it's a Sunday. Obviously, there's going to be no mail. Um, but just want to show you some Harry Potter pickups I recently made. Um, I didn't buy these all at once, I bought them separately. So I'll get started. First of all, the local pawn shop near my house. I found Harry Potter Lego years one to four. Um, for Xbox 360 comes with the manual and disc like everything like it's all perfect and everything like normally when I buy from there it's missing the manual or the, or the disc is scratched but this thing has everything including the little code here to hook it up and get some cool stuff and I'm not sure, I'm not sure if that's expired or not but I don't care I'm just happy that like it was there I mean most of the games you find at the pawn shops in my city are like just the disc. Like a lot of times they don't even have the uh, case wrap because they're just uh, like somebody just brought in a disc. But that's pretty cool. So I found that. It was uh, I think $2. So $2 for that. And then it was $1 for this. It's the two disc edition of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I do know I've got Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire on DVD, but at the time that I got it, um, it was sent to me by a really really good friend of mine, and he only sent me the one disc edition. So now I've got the two disc edition, and I only got it for, I only paid one dollar for it. it. Comes with a slip cover, which is slightly damaged. I mean, you can't expect it to be perfect condition, but that's fine. Next, for I think let's see, fifty cents, I got the Magical Worlds of Harry Potter. I already had this in hardcover version, but I didn't have this one, so I figured I'd get it. And interestingly enough, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the first edition copy of the paperback version. So that's pretty sweet to have the hardcover version in first edition and the uh, soft cover in first edition. So I'm happy about that. Next, I paid five ninety nine for these. Um, I got three of them. They're golden snitches. Um, I paid five ninety nine each. I know it kind kind of sounds steep for a golden snitch, but they're collectibles in my opinion. I'm gonna hang them probably up there beside the wands, so that'll be pretty cool. The dollar store near my house um, found this Harry Potter coloring book for uh, one dollar, so that's pretty sweet. Um, it's got lots of great photos in it, or not photos, but pictures to color. Some of them are fairly goofy as far as, you know, the faces, I mean, like that. And, you know, just a lot of the faces are just strange, you know. But other than that, I mean, it's a pretty cool book. I mean, I got two of it. I've, I already had a couple of them, I think. I think, actually, yeah, I see two of them on my shelf already, so I've got four of them now. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't mind paying for more. This one, this Harry Potter sticker collection, regularly $7.99, but I got it at my, at my dollar store for the $2. So that's pretty sweet. It's got over 400 stickers from, like, anything from these, like the characters, and just all sorts of stickers. So I'm really happy to have added this to my collection. Um, I bought, let's see, I think 30 of these just to, uh, like, because I sell them in my store as well. I'll probably keep around 10 of them and uh, sell the rest, but um, I'm really happy to have picked this up and added it to my collection. Um, yeah, pretty good pickup. Next, I found for $9.99, actually I got this for $6.99, um, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, uh, two-disc digital, co two disc and digital copy edition, so it comes with a nice case wrap as well. Uh, I found that giant tiger near my house, it's a pretty good store. And I also found the Hungry Games, two-disc plus digital copy for $9.99. It was previously viewed, but like honestly, everything inside is perfect and intact. So I was really happy about that. I already had the I already had the movie. 
but I figured I would, you know, still buy it just because I can probably give it away at Christmas or something or some like you know something like that. I, I bought three of them and I've already given away two of them, so that works. I bought two of these um, after Halloween. The grocery store near my house, Loblaws, um, they sell off all of the Halloween product that's left. So they had these $25 packs of the Harry Potter costumes that comes with the robes, the wand, and the glasses and clip for the robe. Um, they were selling them. Uh, I think it was this one was uh, like came up to seven bucks. So I bought two of them. There's another one hanging over in the corner there. And so, yeah, I uh, definitely had to pick this up. You know, obviously I'm going to keep it in its packaging and just have it for my sake. Obvi <laughs> obviously it won't fit me because um, I'm a little bit bigger than the child size. But I figured, you know, I'll just keep it around so that someday, you know, even if it doesn't become valuable, my kid can wear it. You know, that would be kind of cool if I got my kid into Harry Potter as well. Um, I don't have a kid, by the way, just for future reference. Like, I know some of you guys will probably be wondering, wait, he has a kid? But no, I don't have a kid yet. Someday. Um, and a couple days ago, um, I was at the mall, and I got this Harry Potter day-to-day -day calendar. Um, with the bonus calendar widget for my computer. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's got photos from all the movies. Just going to open her up here. Pull the thing out. So obviously you get the blank first page, but it's got all kinds of images from the movies. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm actually going to use it or if I'm just going to keep it intact. Because I think it would be really, really cool if, you know, I got some of these pages, like, signed. Like, you know, I could get that signed by Rupert or whatever if I ever meet him in person or... You know, I could get that signed by, by uh, Natalia Tena. Um, but I really do want to just keep this in mint condition, so give me you guys' thoughts. And uh, that's all the Harry Potter pickups I've made. I will be making a new video as soon as I get a package that I'm now expecting. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.